yeah hello again so I just make another of my boring videos nobody is watching because I just made one in German and except doing some more wood I I don't have much to do so I just gonna do just videos so um, yeah wood again there is some left but not so much and I had to look on the weather forecast and rain is on the way uh, I actually have a private weather forecast like I have this atrocious thingy since a few years and each time there is some bad weather on the way uh, I get this pains like very nasty but I mean with the time I got used to it so I, I just go through it <coughs> sometimes I'm lucky someone gives me some good THC wheat and um, so I'm then I'm basically if I smoke wheat I'm pain free uh, more or less it's not that I'm pain free I still feel it but it doesn't hurt. Does this make sense anyhow? So, okay. I made a grand caca today. Uh, I planted two or even three trees. So I tried to cut the tree with my small chainsaw and it was a bit limit like, and it's, it's on a very steep, uh, you say it's a very steep uh, mountainside and uh, so I planted the tree into another tree and then I tried to cut the second tree who just started hanging in a third tree and I'm a bit specialist for this the problem now is that my uh, I have to uh, manual winch I usually use if this has happened to uh, to pull the tree free and but uh, my winch as so many other things are already packed up and uh, ready to go uh, uh, down below so uh, uh, this is a bit difficult so yeah and I'm still in this um, still this car business Still loads of thinking and worries about this car business. Um, so as good as this would be to have a car again, uh, would make life easier uh, in some ways and more difficult in others. And so now they changed the system and uh, where we before we had like three months of time to make the papers and insure and we didn't need it an insurance to make the papers now uh, I've been by two people uh, one company and one people told uh, that now you need an insurance first and I hate insurances and banks so I try as much as I can to stay out of it I still have a bank account, but it's just an online account. I don't have a credit line. It's, I only have a, a debit card. And uh, and yeah, I'm happy with it, more or less. Um, but it would be like my one of the objectives I have in my life to have no more bank account this was I saw this was the next step for me and uh, and I don't have any insurances and I never really had any insurances I, I think once I had uh, insurance for three months and uh, I had I had 
the French uh, healthcare insurance. But even this I gave up. And anyway, I used it only one time in 2016 when I had my teeth done. So, I don't know, this whole car business, I'm, I'm not really happy about it. I don't really want a car. But in the moment, it seems that buying this car is the only option to get away from here, since I still didn't found a, a new place or anything. And so, for a while, I could live in the car. And if the car breaks or <coughs> any other mishap is happen, I just leave it beside the road. Someone takes it, and uh, and that's it. And uh, yeah, and I I don't want insurance. I I really I really I feel so much resistance uh, to get an insurance and give some money to these gangsters, gangsters and banksters who make their money with the fear of other people, and they don't mind. And, uh, yeah, so for these reasons, I didn't, um, I maybe didn't put as much energy in the whole car project than I, I could have. And so, but since I still uh, have to leave here for reasons I don't really understand, uh, that's an option, then reducing my possessions to what I need for living in a car. So having just a small toolbox and a chainsaw and a, a canvas. And the rest uh, of the stuff I probably just give to some charity organization we have, uh, we have in this commune and which does uh, very good work and helps loads of people who need help and everything. And I'd rather do this than sell it. Because for me, in the end, it's not about getting some money for some already, when I bought it, the cheapest stuff uh, you can get because I don't have much money. And uh, I'd rather give it away and feel good than selling it for a price I will be like bothering about uh, for the next hundred years that I sold it so cheap. So, uh, yeah, and yeah, and then if anybody sees uh, Santa Claus, uh, maybe you can give me a call. I don't really do Christmas, but never know. So, or Odin, Odin, maybe. Um, so all I wish for this Christmas and all Christmases to come is to find a nice place in the Pyrenees, very off-grid, uh, far, as far away from everything and everyone as possible. I mean, if I had money, I would live in Canada, yeah? But I don't have money and I don't need much money. So as long as I live on a, with, a, with a permanent camp, in the moment, I need maybe between 250 and 300 euros, and then everything is paid. And uh, yeah, so it would be nice uh, if Santa or one of his associates maybe could help me to find such a place and uh, find some kind soul who lets me live there for free and if possible for the rest of my life, because being becoming an owner uh, I, I don't see how this would be possible for me from where I am now uh, to get so much money together. I mean, I ca could get a place for a couple of few tens of thousand euros, but I don't have them. And I don't see uh, how I could make them legally. And um, yeah, so please, Santa, a nice off-grid place in the Pyrenees. I don't care, in Spain, in France, as long as it's in the Pyrenees. And uh, that's it. So little. If I see so many people, they have all these wishes of boats and sport cars and ah, uh, fuck, I don't know what. And uh, 
So uh, it's only so little. I, I, I think for me, less is more. Okay, now I have to split this wood. This is why I have my little friend with me here. And then I've got the backpack to bring it back up. And hopefully it will be enough to get over the holidays. And uh, because this is when they announced uh, a few days of rain, maybe even snow, even if this is something not very often happened here in the Seven Mountains. And uh, but I love snow. I love when it's all white and I'm snowed in, and uh, I can sit beside a warm fire and drink a cup of tea. Okay, that's it. It's just like a small update video. Don't know what. And uh, yeah, if you feel like subscribe to this channel. Um, so as soon as I'm gone here, maybe the videos get more interesting on the road again. And uh, yeah. If you know about any places that would be interesting for me, so Pyrenees between 1000 and 1600 meters, uh, a ruin, a small cabin, anything, I, I really, I mean, if I have a few walls standing already, it would be easy to make it a bit larger or something with wood I find in the forest and just a few nails and planks. And uh, the only thing is I need a freshwater well on the place or very close by or a small clear mountain stream would do the job also. A waterfall would be the thing, then I can take showers. And, uh, and I don't like any neighbors. I'm not into community life. I'm a individualist, so, and I, I wanna keep it this way. And now uh, I all wish you a happy Yule or Christmas or just a happy life if you are not into celebrating things like me. Uh, and stay healthy, resist the government and uh, never give up fighting. <laughs>